Bon dia a tothom. Um, bueno, soc la Pilar. Good morning. My name is Pilar from the Cusatanza School. This is a state-owned school. Are we two lines at the Panades County? We are a relatively new school, only eight years history. We started with six tablets last year. We received six tablets and we decided, oh, what are we to do with them? And so we started experimenting. We started taking pictures, video recording, audio recording. We experimented also with English and math apps. But what I will be telling you about today are a couple of very powerful activities. The digital library and the school radio. And, and I say that these are powerful because they develop in a comprehensive approach both the linguistic and the digital competences. This is only done through two major applications because often less is more. We are building our digital library with content created by our own students. They come up with um, s stories, their tales. We have our own diary of the school. We have also a book of math problems created by the students themselves. And with this application, the a Star app for us, known as Book Creator. Needless to say, since we live in the digital era, the 21st century is the century of technology, we have the responsibility of training one of the first native tech generations and learn differently because they are in a different setting. We believe that by incorporating mobile devices into the classroom, we increase their motivation fully so, and we take advantage of that extra motivation to teach them on team working, to cooperating, and to learning and amongst their peers. This is one of them drafting what we will be introduced, how is to be organized, thinking and writing. This app, the Book Creator app, provides ample of room for their creativity because they are to choose what pictures to include, what videos to include, what to write, what will be the layout, what colors to be chosen, so all in all the full design of it. So this is a highly creative tool. And so, little by little, they've been choosing their own stories. Uh, I think this is quite an interesting picture because the notion of a closed classroom seems like obsolete. Here you can see them using the spaces within the school to learn. We also have collective proofreading with these digital books like Mr. F with Mr. Feinet, probably he would love this if he was with us. As I was saying before, we live in an era of creation and sharing, and we upload these books onto our website so that families themselves can enjoy on their children's creations. And we also transform this into videos, and we upload them on our YouTube channel. This is an example for a video. Library can also be found on the school's corridors, no longer that immobile fixed space. It's not one library, it's the whole school is a library. These are some digital stories through QR codes done by the students. One more example. This is more like an audio library because these were audio or videos. They can also be found in hard copies. And every now and then they 
our students take with them the QR medal so that they can enjoy their own creations at home. And since we enjoy very much having fun, we are also working on an online school radio. As a matter of fact, we are just doing what we used to do, and that is having a joint decision on the piece of news that we want to broadcast. Then it's written, then it's proofread, and then we decide what's the sentence to be recorded by everyone. And that, this is an example of it. We want to move towards a cooperative radio, and this is just a pilot test, a pilot project done by the three grade and the fifth grade students. And we want to have it in one single place where all the podcasts are found from all our school. And this is what we want to do in the future. We are building our digital identity in our blocks, right? Also at the podcast channel and also the YouTube channel with content created by the students. We don't have plenty of technological resources, but then we make it up through passion. And we believe that this lack of devices can be turned into an opportunity by letting them bring their own devices at home. This is a picture of some of them, and you can see how surprised they are, or even the teacher herself, because it was the first time that they were looking at augmented reality. They were bringing their own devices in here again, and this was quite a positive experience. And I'd like to conclude my presentation by saying that this wouldn't have been possible without the counselling of our advisor, Pilar Soro, that has been along with us, has been supporting us. Without her, this wouldn't have been possible. Thank you very much.